Now turning to Zimbabwe, a country in turmoil over a presidential runoff, the UN Security Council has decided Friday's vote cannot be free and fair after the challenger withdrew and went into hiding today. Dozens have already died in that southern African country where voting against the president can get you killed. Here's Richard Roth. With government thugs attacking his people, Zimbabwe's opposition leader feared he'd be facing a war, not an election, if he continued his challenge to Robert Mugabe. So Morgan Changarai pulled out. We will no longer participate in this violent, illegitimate sham of an election process. But the fear's not over. Changarai's taken refuge in the Dutch embassy in Zimbabwe's capital. His party headquarters has been shut down by the government and more of his supporters arrested. Now, close to claiming the presidency for another five years, Robert Mugabe, as Britain's foreign secretary put it, has clubbed his way to victory. For almost three decades, Mugabe's ruled Zimbabwe with raw power and nationalist rhetoric. At the same time, the country's become an economic basket case. Now the U.S. and its allies are demanding change, but with generals pampered by wealth and privilege, Mugabe's regime has already weathered international censure and sanctions. They're willing to do literally anything to retain power in Zimbabwe. Number one, for the financial rewards that it brings, and number two, for the potential retribution and justice that they would be brought to bear if they lose power. Only God will remove me from power, Mugabe warned last week. Today, a British official said he's succeeded now in uniting the world against him. Richard Roth, CBS News, London.